there's the logistic growth formula. And if you forget what logistic growth is, so normal exponential growth looks like this. The population, this is time, and this is our population. And it just goes real up real fast like that. Now, logistic growth is when it quits doing that and levels off. And where does it level off? At the carrying capacity. This is called the carrying capacity, or K. The logistic growth looks like this. And there's actually an equation that where you can figure out what a population will do based on logistic growth. How cool is that? So what is that equation? There it is, the logistic growth equation. Dn over dt equals r max times n times k minus n over k. So, let's think about what everything is. What does this represent? Change in number. The change in number over the change in time. It's how the population will change. That's often the answer you get when they give you the stuff. Now the R max is the rate of increase for the population. And sometimes that's given to you in the question. So let's look at number eight on your sheet. We'll do eight together. Eight, nine, and ten are all logistic problems. If you didn't get a sheet, what is wrong with you? Where to start? Another sheet? Yeah. I have only one more sheet. I sold my other one. I was just saying, no. They were like, I got Mr. Willis' file sheet. You just put it on my desk, there's another one's there. Just stack it up. Stacks on stacks on stacks. There you go. Alright. See ya. Have a good week. Too. You too. Alright. Um, so, number eight, a population of paramecium and test is 300. What does that represent What's, when it's talking about the population? That's N. N is 300. That's, N is the number of the population. So we're going to plug 300 in right here, and we're going to plug 300 in right here. Now, K is the carrying capacity. So, um, the test tube has a carrying capacity of 500. So you use this K, here's 500. If the paramecium you have an R max of 0.45 per week, gives you the R max too, now you ought to be able to figure this up. I might be able to state championship math team it in my head. I don't know, but let's try it. What's 500 minus 300? 200. 200. What's 200 over 500? Two fifths. Two fifths, which is what in decimal place? Point four. Point four. Point four. <laughs> so it's point. So this entire thing is point four. So point four times 300. 120. How do I get that so fast? 40 percent. I'm unbelievable. Yeah. 4 times 3 is 12. Point 0.4 times 300, 120. See how the mind works? You ever seen the movie A Beautiful Mind? Fantastic, Russell Crowe. So I'm, I'm down to 120, right? 120 times 0.45. That's a little bit harder for even state championship math team. But I know 0.45 is close to half. So half of 120 is 60. So 120 times 0.45 would probably be like 56, 54. 
There you go. Go through a problem again. So here's basically what it's saying. It's saying that if the population is 300 and the carrying capacity is 500, you get 54 new organisms born. The population was 300 when we started, so what will it be afterward? Give. I turned it into Oh, so what is that? So these are the, um, the study guide indicators. And all the questions on them. Nice. So we started at 300. What will we get after the, re after the week goes by? How many will it be? 354, because we added 54. So, so let's think about this for a minute. What would it be, y'all listen, everybody up here, are you looking, Thomas? Yeah. You seem as if you're not. What would it be if there was no carrying capacity, if it was just exponential growth, if we didn't have to worry about the carrying capacity? You would just remove this fraction, and it'd be, what's 0.45 times 300? Hundred and thirty five. We would have gone up hundred and thirty five if it was just exponential growth. But since it's leveling out at the carrying capacity, we only went up fifty four. Y'all see what I'm saying? Yes. The carrying capacity causes you not to go up as fast. It limits the growth. So if you're these formulas are, are pretty simple. If, there's, if you're not worried about carrying capacity, if it's just exponential growth, here's the formula. If you're worried about carrying capacity, and, and you've got to take that into account, there's the formula. Y'all are not looking. You're looking at other things. It's, it's terrible. That's, that's how you don't learn. Formula with just exponential growth. Can you see it up there? Here, I'll erase. Let me erase the numbers. Raise the numbers so you can see it more clearly. Look, here's the formula with if, of just exponential growth. Are y'all looking? Look, look up here. Here's the formula with just exponential growth. There's the formula if you're considering carrying capacity. Whoa. You see? Ah? Oh. Ah? Oh. This value will make your growth lower because there is a limit put on the population. K minus N over K will always make your growth lower. And if you're right up against the carrying capacity, let's say the carrying capacity was 500 and your population was 499. What's 500 minus 499? One. One. What's one over 500? very small number, so you're not going to be able to go up very much if you're right up against the carrying capacity. What if you're right at the carrying capacity? It'd be 500 minus 500 over 500, so it'd be zero. Zero over 500 is zero, so you couldn't go up it because you're right at the carrying capacity. How do you figure out the capacity? They'll give it to you in the problem. It's just an, it's it's a number. It's a it's a maximum amount that the area can hold. Now there is a possibility in actual real world activities where the population can shoot up over the carrying capacity. But now you're in a situation where there's not enough food and not enough space for the organisms, and that is actually taken into account here. What if the population was above the carrying capacity? What if our population was 550 and the carrying capacity was only 500? Then you'll get a negative number, negative 50 over 500. I can state championship math team that. Can y'all? Negative 50 over 500? Negative point one. So we'll multiply whatever the population is by negative 0.1. Our population will go down after that. If we're over the carrying capacity, the population will be brought down. Makey sensey? Sensey, Okay, we've gone over how to do both types of problems. 
in the last two days. I'm going to give you some time to work on this. And then I want you to work hard because toward the end of the period here, I want us to look at all the science fair projects. This is the last day for them. Yes? What unit should we take time as? Or will it always be time? It'll give it to you in the problem. Right. So if the time, if for, for bacteria, they're reproducing in a, a number of minutes or hours. For humans, they reproduce over may, maybe years. Right. So uh, it's different for different populations. Number three, I don't think gives us a unit, but it asks for next yeah. year later. Do we just assume that's the year? Yes, you do it for a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's over a year. Good, good question. Other, other questions? Can we get some final? Some what? Final. Yes. Tylenol? I'm going to take it every like four hours. Yeah. Will us out.